LXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2020, Question 7. Figure 1 shows a sketch of a curve C with equation y equals f of x and a straight line L. The curve C meets L at the points minus 2, 13 and 0, 25 as shown. The shaded region R is bounded by C and L as shown in figure 1. We're given that f of x is a quadratic function in x and minus 2, 13 is the minimum turning point of y equals f of x. We need to use inequalities to define R. So firstly, let's find the equation of the straight line. We're going to do this by finding the gradient first. So our equation for the gradient is m equals y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, where x1, y1 and x2, y2 are points on the line. Well, we know it goes through 0, 25, where it cuts the y-axis, and it goes through minus 2, 13. So putting them in, we get 25 minus 13 all over 0 minus negative 2, which is equal to 6. So we've got a gradient of 6, and we can see from the graph that the intercept is 25. So the equation of the line must be y equals 6x plus 25. We've got our equation for the straight line, so now we need to find our equation for the curve. We're told that it's a quadratic, so we know that it must be of the form y equals a lots of x plus b all squared plus c. Furthermore, we're told that the minimum turning point is at minus 2, 13. So for this to be a minimum, we would need that bracketed part, the x plus b all squared, to be equal to 0, because that's the smallest it can be. If x is minus 2, that means b would have to be 2 at this point. So we know that y equals a lots of x plus 2 all squared plus c. We can now put in our points to find our other two unknowns, a and c. So putting in minus 2, 13, we get that 13 equals a times minus 2 plus 2 all squared plus c. Well, that bracket's equal to 0, so c is equal to 13. So now we've got y equals a lots of x plus 2 all squared plus 13. So if we substitute in our other point, 0, 25, we've got that 25 equals a times 0 plus 2 all squared plus 13. Well, that right hand side is 4a plus 13. So 4a is equal to 12, a is equal to 3. So we now know that the curve is y equals 3 times x plus 2 all squared plus 13. Looking at our region R, we can see it is below the straight line, so it's smaller than that, and it's above the curved line, hence larger than that. So we have that three lots of x plus two squared plus 13 is smaller than R, which is smaller than six x plus 25. Note that I've used strict inequalities here. You can use smaller than or equal to if you like, as long as both inequality signs are the same as each other. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.